नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम टू द क्लास अगेन ओके सो इन दिस लेक्चर नाउ वी विल सी एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम लेट एस डिस्कस फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू प्रूव साइन स्क्वायर पाई बाई सिक्स प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर पाई बाई थ्री माइनस टेन स्क्वायर पाई बाई फोर इक्वल टू माइनस हाफ सो दिस वी हैव टू प्रूव तो फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वट इज इट साइन स्क्वायर पाई बाई सिक्स प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर पाई बाई थ्री माइनस टेन स्क्वायर पाई बाई फोर यू हैव टू प्रूव दैट दिस इज माइनस हाफ सो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एल एच एस एल एच एस इज साइन स्क्वायर पाई अपॉन सिक्स प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर पाई अपॉन थ्री माइनस tan square pi upon 4 in your previous standard in 10th standard or in 9th standard you have a uh, learn values for sin 30 degree sin 45 degree sin 60 degree and so on now here in 11th standard we are getting angles in radian also so you should know the relation between degree and radian pi radian is equals to 180 degree so if you substitute pi as 180 you will get 180 upon 6 as 30 so this is sin 30 and you know the value of sin 30 it is 1 upon 2 so you write 1 upon 2 the whole square plus this is cos 60 now the value of cos 60 is again 1 upon 2 so this is also 1 upon 2 the whole square minus 1045 is 1 so it is 1 square now simplify it this is 1 upon 4 Plus this is one upon four minus one, so this is two upon four. That is one upon two minus one, which is minus one upon two, and this is your right hand side. So your LHS is equals to RHS. So therefore, we will say that therefore sine square pi by six plus cos square pi by three. Minus tan square pi by four is equals to minus half, right? Okay. So now let us see the second question. It is two sine square pi by six. Okay. So I will use this space only for doing this problem also. So here, let us first remove this. now second question it is 2 sin square pi by 6 plus cosec square 7 pi upon 6 into it is cos square pi by 3 and we have to prove that this is equals to 3 by 2 now you also solve this problem along with me don't only just uh, listen and see what i am doing take your pen and paper and start solving these problems left hand side it is 2 sin square pi upon 6 plus cosec square 7 pi upon 6 into cos square pi upon 3 now the value of sin pi upon 6 it is 1 upon 2 so i will write 1 upon 2 the whole square plus cosec square now this 7 pi upon 6 i will write as pi plus pi upon 6 into cos square pi upon 3 cos 60 it is 1 upon 2 So I will write one upon two the whole square. Here I will get two into one upon four plus now cosec one eighty plus theta. So in our previous lectures, when we are seeing the formula, we have seen that whenever it is pi plus some angle or two pi plus some angle, our ratio does not change. Means cosec will remain cosec. Only there will be a change of sign. But as we are taking square so 
ultimately it is going to be a plus sign so i will straight forward write cosec square pi upon 6 into 1 upon 4 this is 2 upon 4 that is 1 upon 2 plus sin 9 30 is 1 upon 2 so cosec 30 will be 2 so here it is 2 square into 1 upon 4 so i get 1 upon 2 plus 4 into 1 upon 4 is 1 so this is 3 upon 2 which is our right hand side so this is rhs so lhs is equals to rhs so therefore my left hand side is equals to right hand side therefore i will say that 2 sin square pi upon 6 2 sin square pi upon 6 plus cosec square 7 pi upon 6 plus cosec square 7 pi upon 6 into cos square 2 pi upon 3 is equals to 3 upon 2. So, this is how we prove this second question. Now, let us see the third question. Now, let us see the third question. Cot square pi by 6 plus cosec square pi pi by 6 plus 3 tan square pi by 6 is equals to 6. We have to prove this. So, here we will start with LHS. LHS is equals to cot square pi by 6 plus cosec is cosec okay it is only cosec pi pi by 6 cosec pi pi by 6 plus 3 tan square pi by 6 now the value of cot 30 that is root 3 so this is root 3 square plus this is cosec now this phi pi by 6 i will write pi minus pi upon 6 plus tan 30 tan 30 is 1 upon root 3 so it is 3 into 1 upon root 3 the whole square so here we get root 3 square is 3 plus now cosec 180 minus theta sin 180 minus theta is sin theta as it is in second quadrant so cosec 180 minus theta will be cosec theta so this is cosec pi upon 6 plus this is 3 into 1 upon 3 so this i will get 3 plus cosec 30 sin 30 is 1 upon 2 cosec 30 is 2 plus this is 3 and 3 will cancel and i have 1 so this is 3 plus 3 is 6 it is your rhs right hand side so therefore i will say therefore cot square pi by 6 therefore cot square pi by 6 plus cosec pi pi by 6 plus 3 tan square pi by 6 it is equal to 6 right now let us see this fourth question so for fourth question again i will erase this part okay so fourth question we have 2 sin square 3 pi by 4 plus 2 cos square pi by 4 plus 2 sec square pi by 3 is equals to 10. So here left hand side is equals to 2 
sin square 3 pi by 4 plus 2 cos square pi by 4 plus 2 sec square pi by 3. Here it is 2 sin square, this 3 pi by 4 can be written as pi minus pi by 4 plus 2 cos square pi by 4. I could have put the value of cos pi by 4 here, but okay, no problem. We will see in the next step what is the value, okay. Uh, plus we have 2 sec square pi by 3. So, no worry, in this step we will put the value. This is 2 sin square. Now, pi minus pi by 4, again sin pi minus theta is sin theta. So, it is 2 sin square pi by 4 plus 2 cos square pi by 4 plus 2 sec square pi by 3. So, this becomes sin pi by 4 means sin 45 degree, sin 45 degree is 1 upon root 2. So, this is 2 into 1 upon root 2 the whole square plus this is 2 into cos 45, cos 45 is 1 upon root 2, 1 upon root 2 square plus 2 sec 60, cos 60 is um, cos 60 is 1 by 2, so it is 2, sec 60 is 2, so this is 2 square. Here it is 2 into 1 upon 2 plus here 2 into 1 upon 2 plus here 2 into 4. So, I get 2 into 1 upon 2 is 1 plus 2 into 1 upon 2 is 1 plus 2 into 4 is 8, so I get 2 plus 8, 10, which is right hand side. So, therefore, LHS is equal to RHS, that is 2 sin square 3 pi upon 4 plus 2 cos square pi upon 4 plus 2 sec square pi upon 3 is 10. So, easy, right now, only values we have to put. So, why they have given these problems? Just to practice angles in radians, ok. So, by doing these problems, you are now very much comfortable with the values of trigonometric functions in radians. Now, let us see this fifth question. We have to find the value of, here first question is, we have to find the value of sin 75. Now, you can try yourself, ok. In last lectures, you have already seen many formulas. What we have to do here? We have to express this 75 as a sum of or difference of two angle whose trigonometric ratios we know. So, I can split this 75 as 45 plus 30, right? So, I can say that this is sin 45 degree plus 30 degree. Now, sin A plus B is sin A that is sin 45 degree <coughs> sin A cos b, so cos 30 plus cos a into sin 30. So, sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin 45 is 1 upon root 2, cos 30 it is root 3 by 2 plus cos 45 is 1 upon root 2 and sin 30 is 1 upon 2. So, finally, you will get root 3 plus 1 whole divided by 2 root 2. This is the value for sin 75 degree. Now, the next question they have given, second question is tan 15 degree. So, for 15 degree what do you do? It is tan 45 degree minus 30 degree. So, this is tan A minus B is tan A. Tan A minus B is tan A minus tan B. 
अपॉन वन प्लस टेन ए इंटू टेन बी सो हियर आई विल गेट टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन माइनस टेन थर्टी इज वन अपॉन रूट थ्री होल डिवाइड बाई वन माइनस टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन एंड टेन थर्टी इज वन अपॉन रूट थ्री सो यू विल गेट रूट थ्री माइनस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री डिवाइड बाई रूट थ्री माइनस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री वाई आई एम डूइंग दिस हियर इट इज प्लस साइन सॉरी हियर इट इज प्लस साइन सो रूट थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री नाउ दिस रूट थ्री एंड रूट थ्री वी कैन कैंसल सो फाइनली वी गेट रूट थ्री माइनस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री प्लस वन इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन रेशनलाइज दिस नाउ हाउ टू रेशनलाइज वी कैन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई बाय रूट थ्री प्लस रूट थ्री माइनस वन वी विल मल्टीप्लाई बाय रूट थ्री माइनस वन एंड डिवाइड बाय रूट थ्री माइनस वन सो हियर आई विल गेट ए माइनस बी द होल स्क्वायर इज ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय हियर आई विल गेट ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो हियर थ्री प्लस वन फोर फोर माइनस टू रूट थ्री अपॉन टू we will take two common so here i have 2 minus root 3 so the value of 10 15 is 2 minus root 3 simple right okay so now sixth problem here again we have to prove but now we don't have any fixed value we have to prove this cos pi upon 4 so sixth problem now i am not writing the question i am directly starting with lhs lhs is cos pi upon 4 minus x into cos pi upon 4 minus y minus sin pi upon 4 minus x into sin pi upon 4 minus y this is equals to okay now if you see carefully this is cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b you can replace this pi upon 4 minus x by a and pi upon 4 minus y by b and solve or you can keep this term in your mind that this is something like cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and we know that cos a cos b minus sin a sin b is cos of a plus b that is it is equals to cos pi upon 4 minus x plus pi upon 4 minus y so this gives me answer as cos pi upon 4 plus pi upon 4 is pi upon 2 minus x minus y is minus x minus y okay so this is cos pi by 2 minus x minus y This is equals to cos pi upon two minus here it is x plus y cos ninety minus theta is sine theta so this becomes sine x plus y and this is your RHS right hand side simple yes simple question right okay now seventh problem again for seventh problem. we will consider left hand side okay i am not writing the question again it is there so seventh problem we have lhs is equals to tan pi upon 4 plus x upon tan pi upon 4 minus x and we have to prove that this is equals to 1 plus tan x Divide by one minus tan x, the whole square. Okay. 
ah sorry means this is left hand side and we have to prove that this is equals to this okay i am writing the question again no okay i have to simplify it okay so what i can do tan pi by 4 plus x means tan a plus b tan a plus b is what tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a into tan b whole divide by here i have tan pi by 4 minus x means tan a minus tan b upon here it is 1 plus tan a into tan b okay now here this division sign i have replaced with this sign why because we know that if denominator is in fraction so when we divide by a fraction we have to multiply by reciprocal of the denominator so if i write in this way it is easy for me to understand now tan pi by 4 is 1 so here it is 1 plus tan x and here it is 1 minus tan x and let us write division sign only here it is 1 minus tan x and denominator is 1 plus tan x what i have to do i have to reciprocate this part so this is equal to 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x this division will convert in multiplication and it will be 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x so this i will get 1 plus tan x the whole square divide by 1 minus tan x the whole square so this you can write as 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x the whole square this is your rhs this is my right hand side done okay seventh we have done now let us move to eighth problem okay so eighth problem let us solve here only so okay here this is eighth problem now eighth problem lhs a is equals to cos pi plus x into cos minus x divided by sin pi minus x into cos pi by 2 plus x we have to prove that this is cot square x so first cos 180 plus theta cos 180 plus theta is what minus cos theta so i will write minus cos x and cos of minus x is cos x so this is cos x divide by sin pi minus x is sin x so here i write sin x and cos 90 plus theta so cos 90 plus theta it will convert in sin and um, it is in second quadrant so it is minus sin so i have sin x into minus sin x so i get numerator as minus cos square x and i get denominator as minus sin square x so minus cos square x upon minus sin square x is cot square x this is your right hand side so lhs is equals to rhs right left hand side is equals to right hand side eighth problem we have done okay let us see few more questions ninth problem we have cos 3 pi upon 2 so again i will start with lhs so ninth problem lhs is cos 3 pi upon 2 plus x into cos 2 pi plus x into okay so a big question into we have cot 
थ्री पाई अपॉन टू माइनस एक्स प्लस कॉट टू पाई प्लस एक्स वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू वन ओके तो दिस इज इक्व टू नाउ दिस इज टू सेवेंटी थ्री पाई बाई टू सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट वेन वी आर यूजिंग ऑड मल्टीपल ऑफ पाई बाई टू द कॉस्ट विल कन्वर्ट इन साइन नाउ आई हैव टू सी इन विच क्वारंट दिस एंगल इज सो दिस एंगल इज इफ आई कंसिडर एक्स एज एक्यूट एंगल दिस एंगल इज इन फोर्थ क्वारंट and in fourth quadrant the value of cos is positive so i will use the positive sign into this is cos 2 pi plus x so this is cos x 2 pi is a complete circle you can avoid it into now this into we have cot 3 pi by 2 minus x so cot will convert in tan and the sign will be positive because here it is third quadrant so 10x plus we have cot x 10x plus cot x okay so sin x into cos x plus 10x plus cot x now this i will write sin x into cos x and here this 10x can be written as sin x upon cos x plus this cot x can be written as cos x upon sin x so i will cross multiply i will say that this is equals to sin x into cos x into here it is sin square x plus cos square x upon denominator is sin x into cos x now sin square x plus cos square x is 1 and this sin sin cancel cos cos cancel sin square x plus cos square x is 1 so this is your rhs right hand side so you get lhs is equals to rhs cos 3 pi by 2 plus x cos 2 pi plus x into cot 3 pi by 2 minus x plus cot 2 pi plus x this is equals to 1 chalo let us see one more problem टेंथ प्रॉब्लम सो टेंथ प्रॉब्लम एल एच एस इज साइन एन प्लस वन एक्स एन टू साइन एन प्लस टू एक्स प्लस कॉस एन प्लस वन एक्स एन टू कॉस एन प्लस टू एक्स ओके दिस इज अवर एल एच एस वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट दिस इज इक्व टू कॉस एक्स नाउ साइन ए साइन बी प्लस कॉस ए कॉस बी सो यू कैन रिवर्ट इट इट इज कॉस ए कॉस बी प्लस साइन ए साइन बी नाउ कॉस ए कॉस बी प्लस साइन ए साइन बी इज वॉट कॉस ऑफ ए माइनस बी सो दिस इज कॉस ऑफ एन प्लस वन कॉस ऑफ आई विल से कॉस ऑफ एन प्लस वन एक्स माइनस एन प्लस टू एक्स दिस इज इक्व टू कॉस ऑफ नाउ वेन आई ओपन द ब्रैकेट इट इज एन एक्स प्लस एक्स माइनस एन एक्स माइनस टू एक्स सो दिस एन एक्स एन एक्स कैंसिल एक्स माइनस टू एक्स इज माइनस एक्स सो दिस इज कॉस ऑफ माइनस एक्स एंड कॉस ऑफ माइनस एक्स इज कॉस एक्स so your left hand side is equal to your right hand side so this is rhs lhs is equals to rhs this is 10th question now 11th question so again this is space only i will utilize to solve this 11th question okay now 11th question is cos 3 pi by 4 cos 3 pi by 
प्लस एक्स माइनस कॉस थ्री पाई बाई फोर माइनस एक्स वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस रूट टू साइन एक्स सो हियर वॉट वी डू वी कैन यूज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कॉस सी माइनस कॉस डी ओके डू यू रिमेंबर वट इज कॉस सी माइनस कॉस डी और एल्स यू कैन एक्सपांड दिस पार्ट एंड एक्सपांड दिस पार्ट बट दैट विल बी टू लेंदी सो बेटर यूज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कॉस सी माइनस कॉस डी सो कॉस सी माइनस कॉस डी वट इज द फॉर्मूला इट इज टू टाइम्स कॉस सी माइनस कॉस डी इट इज टू टाइम्स साइन c plus d by 2 okay so let us first write the formula and then put this value so here um, i can say formula okay now cos c minus cos d the formula is 2 sin c plus d by 2 and sin d minus c divided by 2 okay so we use this formula so therefore our lhs will become 2 time sin of 3 pi by 4 plus x plus 3 pi by 4 minus x whole divided by 2 c plus d divided by 2 into sin C minus d divided by two. So C minus d. We will subtract. So here it is. Three pi by four plus x uh, d minus c. Sorry, it is d minus c. So first we write d. That is three pi by four minus x minus three pi by four plus x. So this is equals to two sine uh, divided by two is also there. So this is equals to two sine. Now three pi by four plus three pi by four. It is six pi by four. That is three pi by two. X x will cancel, and here this whole divided by two means one upon two. I can write into sine. I will open the bracket. Three pi by four minus x minus three pi by four minus x whole divided by two. So simplify this. You will get two sine three pi by four. Now three pi by four, uh, we can write pi minus pi by four into sine. Here, this three pi by four cancels. This is minus two x upon two is sine minus x. So sine minus theta is minus sine theta. So this is minus two sine pi minus pi by four. So sine pi minus pi by four is sine pi by four. One eighty minus theta is sine theta. Into this is sine x. And the value of sine pi by four is one upon root two. So minus two into one upon root two into sine x, and this will give me answer is minus root two into sine x, which is right hand side. So LHS is equal to RHS, right? Again, we have proved LHS is equal to RHS. So eleven the problem we have done. Now twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and there are many more problems. Better we stop our lecture here. and see the rest of the problems in our next class so thank you for being with me in this class i hope you have solved all the problems by yourself if you have not done that then please solve the problems by yourself mathematics is all about practice right practice so as you do practice you learn mathematics thank you